Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toast Bros, and today we're checking out a $630 laptop that is from eBay, but more specifically, the Acer eBay. And it features an RTX 3060. It is a refurbished laptop deal, but getting an RTX 3060 laptop for under $700 is pretty impressive. Is it any good? We're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Micro Center, our one-stop shop for PC hardware in person. February is build your own month at Micro Center, and I can't think of a better place for you to celebrate by shopping in your local Micro Center build your own section with thousands of PC parts in stock and a super knowledgeable staff that can point you in the right direction for your first or hundredth custom gaming PC build. One of the promos they're currently running is the legendary Ryzen 5 3600 paired with a Gigabyte B450 DS3H motherboard for only $129. You can easily make a great budget gaming rig with this combo. We love shopping at Micro Center, especially when building a gaming PC and you should learn more by checking the link in the description down below and stop by your nearest Micro Center during the month of February to cash in on some great deals. Big thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? So this, ladies and gentlemen, is an Acer Nitro 5, which we have reviewed quite a few of. We really do like checking out laptops and every so often we stumble across a really good deal like this. So eBay, if you didn't know, is just an online selling platform for both people selling used and new things, but there's some really big stores in there like Newegg is on there, Best Buy is on there, Acer, Asus, MSI. So you can often follow these stores and find really good deals like this. They've actually sold well over 120 of these so far, just of that one listing. So we're probably number 120, but we're gonna find out if this thing's actually any good. If you do some hunting, you can find the PC Bros uh, eBay store. It's out there. We sell coolers and a bunch of random mm -hmm. stuff, pcbros.tech. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. It is an Acer Nitro. We know what it's gonna look like, but will it actually be in good condition? Because it is a refurb. Let's Let's see. The exact model is the AN51545, and that's short for Acer Nitro. <laughs> it's long for Acer Nitro, but normally stores like this, like on eBay, would have some dents. They usually do a pretty good job at like packing and getting everything to us in one piece. It's a I weird open? box. Okay. One thing that any like uh, certified store does on eBay is they're very good about returns. Like eBay is extremely buyer oriented. So they really make sure to take care of you as a buyer. Uh, we do have a chickeny power supply, which is very typical to see of like Dell, Acer, some of the other brands. They often don't really make their own power supplies anymore or they just rebrand someone like theirs. But I'm assuming we're probably not gonna have an original box or anything, but you never know. Nope, no original box. Um, and on top of that, you can really easily return stuff like this. So if we have any problems with it, we have about 30 days to go through eBay and just simply return it. It really doesn't take long at all. It's a very easy process. It looks um, like new. And that's one thing I really like about eBay is I think whenever they allow returns, can't you just press return? It just makes yep. you it just makes you a label. You don't even yes. have to talk to anyone. So definitely sucks for sellers out there because you know if you allow that and someone just doesn't like it, you just have to suck it up and basically you just lost any of the fees and the shipping fees, which could be upwards of a hundred bucks worth of loss. So that is one thing that really sucks about when you go straight through um, eBay as like a 30 day guaranteed seller. But here's our laptop. It looks actually like brand new. Yeah. I mean, it, you really can't even tell that someone ever used this. And there's always a chance that someone didn't. Like some of these might be in worse shape than others, but I wouldn't be surprised if these are just, you know, they basically have a warehouse where every time they get a P, like uh, an Acer Nitro 5, that's the exact same model back. They basically just go through, fix it, whatever needs to be done. And then they probably sit on a shelf until they go, oh, we have 200 of these sitting here. Let's go ahead and list them all because they are all the same spec, which is just insane to me that they have that many. Or could have been like a, a brand new laptop that just had, let's say a dud motherboard or something and they replaced it. And at this point, it's a refurb because it doesn't have the original parts in it, so. I am gonna go and get this thing just turning on, but while we do that, I'm gonna show you guys ports. So on the left-hand side, we have a combo headphone jack, two USB 3s, an ethernet jack, which I love to see, a Kingsington lock on the back, Really cool design, but just fan. And then I do love the charger, by the way, being ambidextrous, right in the middle. Uh, USB-C, love to see that. USB-3 again, and HDMI out, so you can have dual monitors. This would be a great laptop setup, which we do have lots of videos on Toasty Bros for that. I am noticing, look how flimsy this is back here. And look, oh, wow. what, it, look what it does to the bezel right here. Well, so that's, that's I'm gonna good. guess that maybe this one had a screen replacement. Yeah. Uh, could be very possible. Now this is purely cosmetic for the most part. There's supposed to usually be like an adhesive strip in here. Maybe this model doesn't normally have one. I don't know, that's just my guess. But but yeah, light up keyboard. It's like a nice red LED. Oh my gosh, here we go again. It Touch, does have Windows 11, so It that's does, good. yeah. Touchpad feels really good. And I doubt this would have came with 11 originally. So um, they probably have recently been in here. So we have the Ryzen 5 5600H, six core 12 thread. I was really hoping I could get around this 
but I think I'm just gonna have to sign into our Wi-Fi. 5600 h 6 12 thread, RTX 3060, which is a mobile, so six gig, right? Mm -hmm. Six gig 3060. It's a little bit dumbed down. I think the six gig 3060 performs more like a 1660, I wanna say. I know it's not quite 3060 level for sure because they have to really dumb it down to get it inside of here. And then we also have eight gigs. We think it's single channel, but we are going to 100% confirm that inside of Windows, probably 3200 megahertz. And it is upgradable. I know for a fact that you can add another uh, stick to these. It's just, you have to take off the whole entire back panel, but not a super huge deal. We do have videos on how to do that. And we also, this is a 120 hertz screen, right? 144. 144? Yeah. That's actually pretty crazy. So yeah, for 629 bucks, I mean, so far this thing's a bargain. I'm kind of just stalling because we need to sign into our Wi-Fi and then hopefully find a way to freaking get into this thing without having to log into a Windows account, but we'll find out. All right, guys, we're starting off with some Overwatch 2.0. And as you can see, we're on the high quality preset. We could definitely be doing more though, because we're getting over 144 and we're getting really good latencies. And Matt, you want to tell them about the RTX card? Yeah, so you secret. see up top, it says not RTX 3060, because that's not the RTX 3060 usage. That is the iGP usage, which is interesting. That's actually using like 20 to 30% of that still, which is something, but um, wow, he just got absolutely uh, yeah. mauled. But the reason it says that is because MSI Afterburner for some reason, after the drivers updated would not detect the 3060. This happened a lot of times in gaming laptops and don't really know why, but that's not really the laptop's fault. I guess, it, I mean, it gets technically it is a laptop's fault, but uh, not a huge flaw on the laptop. It's just our monitoring software doesn't work well with it. Jackson has a diva tattoo. <laughs> on my butt cheek. On his butt cheek. Get, get wrecked, get wrecked. Oh God. Oh, there's, there's some healing going on. I'm getting Where's wrecked. your healer? They already have their freaking ult on their healer too. Like what the heck? No, God, it's so hard. I'm going to die. Oh, the diva. Oh, yeah, the diva. La diva. Or a diva, or a widow killed someone. Let's go. Oh, nerf this. Break yes. the shield. Break the shield. I didn't kill anyone. Oh no. I probably could have done it better. Die, mercy. Die. Magnini mercy. All right, we're getting out of there. Round. Oh. All right. Well. All yeah. right. Well, you know what? This is an offensive game. You know. <laughs> You're gonna yeah. beat them. Easy. Easy peasy. Please don't die to that guy. Like it's, oh my God. <laughs> don't die to the old. Man, I'm going crazy. Get him. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna die to a freaking Symmetri demand to lave. Oh God, I got very far in there. <laughs> <laughs> it, does that push it more? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. Oh no, I'm in his ult. Nice attempt, I guess. Yeah, no, that was, I mean, it was almost a comeback. The game probably got better at the end. Yeah, hopefully Mikhail she uses mostly end footage. But yeah, that was Overwatch. Definitely ran well, just didn't play well. But let's go and go to the next game. All right, guys, we are now in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. We are at 1080p using the basic preset. Um, I guess, yeah, technically we could use DLSS. Let's we'll see if that does any better. Uh, we're on DLSS right now. Yeah, that actually might help a good amount. Um, and uh, yeah, we were getting some lag in the start. Oh, did something just hit me? McAllister, instant replay that. So I'm just flung and hit my, whoa, what's this grenade? There was like a grenade warning. What just happened? Anyways, um, there's a lot going on in there, but I'm going to drop to Hydroelectric. Hydro, should we play some Hydro Thunder? Some Hydro Thunder. What? What is going on? Uh, you need to kill whoever's talking though. Open the door. Was it him? I don't know. They shut up though. I will say too, I'm not a huge fan of this screen. It's very high refresh rate, but it's very dim. Like this is max brightness. I can show you guys and it's like, Eh, not, not the best. Look at this Jeep. I got one of these. Nope, nope. Some front damage right there. Let's just, let's just drive off the cliff here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that, oh. Ooh, I'm really struggling. Come on. Oh, hey. Hey, you. You just fell from the sky. No, he found me. All right, yeah, performance ain't great. I don't even know how much this Macau is actually gonna use, but we're gonna upgrade with this uh, four gig stick because this is the fastest speed we have right now um, on hand. So at least get this thing 12 gigs um, and see if that gives it a fighting chance along with dual channel because I'm like 99% sure. I'm, I, I don't know if we actually verified that. I believe it's single channel memory. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, one of two. So let's add this four gig stick and see what she can do. 
All right guys, so we're showing just a quick, we've done a lot of videos on like how to upgrade these so we didn't get super into it, but basically you're gonna remove all of these shown screws. They start from the front. We know there's not gonna be any screws there. I'm taking it like a spudging tool. Uh, this one's more of just a plastic scraper really, but just something plastic. You don't really wanna use like a flathead screwdriver because although tempting, it's metal and it'll scratch. So yeah, no hidden screws, which I love by the way. This one's an easy one too. Normally they cover the RAM. RAM will only go in one way. So you're just going to put it in and then those will automatically click. So yeah, now we got our two sticks of RAM. They are mismatched um, capacities, but the speeds are the same. That's really one of the more important parts. All right, but now before we put the back plate on, this is really important. Make sure it works still. So and make sure the RAM all, yeah. shows up. Yeah, because yeah, you don't want to clip that back on screen all the way, because the more times you have to take these plastic bezels off, the weaker and more brittle the plastic gets. Look at that. Ooh, 12 gigs, 3200, two of two. So we're looking golden. So now I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clip it back together. Do it. Let's see if Warzone's any better. All right, guys, we are back with the extra four gigs of RAM, and we are still on the minimum preset. I'm just gonna leave it on that just because you know, we're trying to get the most FPS possible here. And just in warm up, it was looking a lot better. The latency is lower. RAM usage, we're up to 10 gigs of RAM being used. So if you can get it to 16 gigs of RAM with another eight gigs, you probably would get even more performance. But since we had this on hand at 3200 megahertz, this is the best we could do for this test. And it's pretty budget friendly. It's a quick little plop in. Upgrade, give you 12 gigs of RAM, and uh, it's much more playable now. So let's drop in and see if the FPS stays the way it's supposed to. He told me to hop into the back. Did he say he forgives you? Kasu can't use any of it. Oh God, we crashed! <laughs> oh, I think that was you. Oh no! Is that him? I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it. My bad. <laughs> Bro, you got any non-copyright tunes? Yo. <laughs> All right. Where is he? I don't know, where is he? Oh, look, my, my, my boy's oh, on we here. Got, we got three. We, we got a squad rolling up. You guys could win off the... Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Looks like the game just crashed. What if I just got banned for teaming? I was having some immense vibes. They needed you. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully, we can pull some cool <laughs> gameplay out of that. But the performance was better. What we're going to go ahead and do is run a couple built-in benchmarks just to really max this thing out. And then, yeah, we'll wrap this video up real quick because overall, with the upgrades, this thing is great. And at the price you're paying, you do have a lot of wiggle room to upgrade this thing into a really awesome gaming laptop. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this laptop and overall it did really well. We didn't really have any major issues. We did have the one issue where after we upgraded the RAM, we were in Warzone, pretty deep into Warzone, then it randomly locked up, but we haven't seen it happen again. So it could have either just been a fluke issue or it had something to do with upgrading the RAM or something to do with it being refurbished. But honestly, I've had my personal PC lock up. I think all of our PCs here have locked up. It happens time to time. Yeah, I would say that was a fluke because I was able to get back into Warzone. Windows didn't crash. So I think it was just kind of a weird Warzone issue where some Something happened and it just locked up. All the other built-in benchmarks worked without any issues whatsoever. So I give this thing a pass and I highly recommend if you do buy this laptop, using the link down below, being a fit link, it will help us out. Definitely pick up another stick of RAM. Uh, go with eight gigs if you can do it. Uh, we only had four gigs on hand, but get eight gigs, 3200 megahertz. We'll have some suggestions in the description down below and you'll get the maximum performance out of this good laptop. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed this little laptop video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So now that this laptop is benchmarked, upgraded, and has a toaster for sale of approval, it will be going over to PCBros.tech, which is our PC selling business. PCBros.tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use our code TOZYBROS2 on checkout, you'll save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.